Exodus chapter 24. And he said to Moshe, Come up unto Yahweh, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. You are to worship at a distance, and Moshe alone is to come near Yahweh, but they shall not come near, nor shall the people go up with him. So Moshe came and told the people all the words of Yahweh and the judgments of Yahweh. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All these laws which Yahweh has spoken, we will do. And Moshe wrote all the laws of Yahweh and rose up early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up twelve pillars representing the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he sent young men of the children of Israel, and they offered burnt offerings and sacrificed young bulls as peace offerings to Yahweh. Moshe took half the blood and put it in basins, and half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it to the people, and they said, All that Yahweh has said, we will do. Then Moshe took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you according to all these laws. And Moshe went up, also Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and the seventy elders of Israel. And they saw the heavenly father of Israel. And under his feet there was something like a pavement made of sapphire, clear as the very sky itself. And upon these nobles of the children of Israel, he did not lay his hand. And they saw Yahweh, and they ate and drank. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Come up to me on the mountain, and be there, and I will give you tablets of stone, and the law and commandments I have written, that you may teach them. Then Moshe set out with Yahshua, his assistant, and Moshe went up on the mountain of Yahweh. He said to the elders, Wait here for us until we return to you. Truly Aaron and Hur are with you. If anyone is involved in the dispute, let him go to them. Then Moshe went up into the mountain, and a cloud covered the mountain. And the glory of Yahweh rested upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And on the seventh day, Yahweh called to Moshe, out of the midst of the cloud, to the eyes of the children of Israel, the sight of the glory of Yahweh looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. And Moshe entered the midst of the cloud as he went on up the mountain, and he stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. <laughs>